welcome back to another video. So today I have another massive adult coloring book haul, flip through and review for you. I haven't done one of these since the middle of April, I think. So it's been a couple months. So there are quite a few more books in this haul than I usually do. I have a few new releases that were sent to me by companies. I have books that were sent to me by artists. And I also have some happy mail as well as some books that I also purchased for myself. If you check the description box down below, you will find links down there for all of the books that you see in this video, as well as links for my Facebook group, my Etsy shop, my email list, and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. So the first book we're going to look at is the new release by Color It. This is their very new release. I think it's only been out for a couple days. And in this book, it is a collection of all of the favorite, favorite designs and a celebration of their 50th published book. So let's go ahead and open this one because I haven't even yet opened it. If you've seen my flip through videos before, you are probably familiar with the Color It books. I usually have one of these books in every single one of them because they do release books quite often. This one is going to be their 50th book that they have released. All of their books are spiral bound and the cover is a thicker cardstock so it's really nice. All of the pages are perforated and then here on the front page it's going to show you what pages are included in this book and what books they actually come from. So in this book it's going to be like a sample of what you would get if you were to purchase some of their other books. This is the blotter page. This is included in all of the Color It coloring books. It has the perforation up here so you could tear it out and if you were using markers or some other type of medium then you would just take this page out and slide it behind your coloring page so that whatever medium you're using does not go through to the next page. But all of the pages are going to be single-sided and the paper is a thicker paper. It's a great paper for using your alcohol markers or maybe even your gel pens. I think this one here is from their Dragons book. So on the front page we did see that it showed you all of the pages that are included in this book, but within the book they're not going to be in that same exact order that you see them there. They're just sort of all mixed up throughout the book. I believe this one here is from their Colors of the Jungle book, which is a wonderful coloring book. I believe this is one of the images from the Roaring Twenties. In their books you're going to find that some of them are landscape and then some of them are portraits. So you're going to see me flipping back and forth just a little bit. Oh, I really love this one. This may be from the steampunk book. Here we have lots of flowers and some branches. More dragons. Oh, I have to turn the book again. And then we have some mandalas. But this book here would be a really great book if you are somebody who hasn't purchased any of the Color It books yet. What a gorgeous butterfly. I think this is from the Colors of the Jungle as well. This would be a great one to start with because you're going to get a little bit of something from quite a few of their most popular books. This one is from their most recent release, Colorful Novels. We have more mandalas, more dragons. I believe that this one is from their Delightful Desserts book, which is one of my favorites. If you enjoy coloring food, you're going to find lots of sweet treats all throughout that book. Oh, look at the frogs. I think this one is from the Colors of the Jungle book. We have another one here that is going the other direction. <laughs> oh, it's Alice in Wonderland. I believe this one is from their most recent release as well. And another one from their Sweet Treats book. I can't remember the exact name of it. Delightful Desserts and Sweet Treats. <laughs> And I'm not sure which mandala book a lot of these are from. I think it is from either volume four or five, but you're going to get, I think, five or six mandalas in here. And you're going to get quite a few dragons. So if you were interested in either one of their most recent releases, I believe it was Modern Art and colorful novels. There's going to be quite a few of the images from those books in here and Colors of the Jungle is a fabulous book as well. That's where these owls are from. There are quite a few images from that book in here as well. I think you're getting between four and six of each one of the images from each one of the books that are included within this 50th anniversary book. Oh I love that one. I love elephants though. <laughs> so if you've been wanting to try a Color It book 
this is probably the one that you should start with. If you are somebody who enjoys coloring mixed media and using alcohol markers or watercolors or anything like that, or even using all of it together and making something completely mixed media with your pencil, then this is a fabulous choice to start with. This one is from the Steampunk book. I'm not sure where this one is from, but we've got buildings in here. More from Colors of the Jungle. Oh, this one is beautiful. This one I think is from their very recent release as well. I think it is from Colorful Novels. We've got some donuts and coffee. Oh, that's a fun page. Lots of background space on that one. And that is all of the images in this book. Let's flip it over. So this is the back cover. Again, it is a very hard, thick cover. And so your images inside the book, once you color them, are going to be very nicely protected within the book. And you do also have the ability with the perforation on the pages to be able to pull the pages out and then color them and even frame them if you would like to. So the color of books are really, really good quality. And I believe that most of them are $19.99 on either the Color It site or Amazon. And I will have this book linked down below so that you can easily find it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the Ava Brown books now. I really love the Ava Brown books because when you purchase the Ava Brown books you also get a free copy of the book that you can download. All of the books come with a code so that you can download the images and then print them on whatever paper you would like to. So it tells you right here, visit us at www.avabrown.com and sign up for our free newsletter. All new subscribers will get a free PDF coloring book. Join our active and growing Facebook community so they do have a Facebook group. And then here on this page is where it tells you where you can access your code. They always have the code on the very last page of the books. And so you can access your code and get your free copy. And then if you want to sign up for their email list or you want to find their Facebook group, you could just scan these QR codes and it will take you right there. You always get a color test page and it is front and back. And you can probably make as many copies of this page that you wanted to so that you could test out your colors before you bring them to your pages. But all of the Ava Brown books are going to be single-sided books. They are Amazon printed books if you order this copy from Amazon. But like I said, you are also going to get the other copy of the book that you could download for free. So that is really, really nice if you don't wanna work with the Amazon paper. You can print it on the Spring Hill paper if you still have some of that. I know it's been really hard to get the Spring Hill paper on Amazon recently, and I have had to start using the Nina paper. I will always have that paper linked down in the description box below. And it looks like all of the pages within this book are going to be some landscape and some portrait, just like in the Color It book. And did I even say what the name was? I'm sure y'all saw it. Honestly, y'all, today is the first day that I am feeling Feeling better. <laughs> this book is Country Gardens, but this is the first day that I have been feeling any better. So forgive me for not saying the name when I first took out this book. <laughs> but some of these I'm gonna go ahead and flip through rather quickly because I do have quite a few Ava Brown books. And because I'm just starting to feel a little bit better, I'm still really struggling to talk and I have 12 coloring books in this haul, so I'm probably filming this video, or will be filming this video, in sections <laughs> and taking a break in between because I'm still struggling to talk and keep my breath. <laughs> but if you're looking for a book with lots of flowers and plants, then this is a great book for you. And then all of the Ava Brown books do have the duplicate pages. So you are gonna get double pages in each one of the books. You're also going to be able to print out that free PDF copy. So you do have the option to be able to print out as many copies as you would like to. Here is the back cover. It just shows all of the pictures that are inside of the book. And that was Country Gardens Coloring Book by Ava Brown. The next one I have here is Magical Forest. I did peek through this one because I really love books that have fairies. 
and things like that in them. And this book does have some adorable images. I'm not gonna go over the first couple pages because I did that in the last one, but I'm just gonna sorta of do a quick flip through this book so that y'all could see the images. So we've got some fairies, some gnomes. Oh, how cute. More fairies and a bird. <laughs> Look at the little frog back here. He looks like he's trying to keep up with this little elf guy here and stay above the water. <laughs> a little squirrel. This one is really cute. We've got a fox. A cute little fairy sitting up on a branch. A beautiful swan. And then another little elf here. <laughs> a cute little frog down here. And then you're going to have some gnomes. So you're just gonna have lots of fantasy stuff in this book, of course, as well as some animals. Look at that squirrel, how cute is that? <laughs> Looks like we have quite a few squirrels. Another little fairy with a deer, a fox with a tree and some mushrooms. This one's really adorable. And I'll just finish flipping through this one so that you could see all of the pages. Oh, we have a unicorn. A raccoon with a little gnome. And we've got a fairy sitting on a lily pad. The frog's looking at her like, what are you doing? <laughs> what is she doing with that flower? Maybe she's smelling it, who knows? <laughs> oh, isn't she cute? And a little bunny, oh, how adorable. Another fairy smelling a flower. Lots of trees with faces on them in this book. And then we've got a little bird up here. <laughs> I love the expressions on some of their faces. This book is so super cute. And then we've got duplicate pages start here. So the rest of them are going to be exactly the same. And this is the back of the book, again, that just shows what images you are getting inside the book. And this is Magical Forest Coloring Book by Ava Brown. Next we have Horses by Ava Brown. Of course, we get our color test page like we do with all the Ava Brown books. All of them are going to be printed again on one side. And I will have timestamps on this video if there is a book that you would like to see so that you can use the bar down below the video and you could just move backward and forward or you can rewatch certain books that you may have wanted to see or rewatch that you may think you may have been interested in or are thinking about purchasing. This one has a lot of landscape and portrait images, again, like the last couple. But this one's going to be just a lot of horses. So if you love horses, you may really love this book. A horse galloping through the woods where she's feeding the horses. There's lots of beautiful images of horses in here. A really great idea with this one would be to go to Google and pull up a Google image of a horse and then just use a realistic picture to try to copy over the colors and place your shadows and your highlights and all of that and try to color the horse and make them look realistic looking. And then you still have lots of girls and such in this book, so you've got some places here to be able to color skin. We've got flowers over here. So if you wanna be able to practice your skin combinations, you have the opportunity to do that as well. If you're looking for pencils that work well in these Amazon printed books, I suggest the brand new Arctic set that was just released. I have a review on that. I'll link in the upper right hand corner. And I also tested them on different papers and found that this paper works very, very well with those pencils. So we get duplicate pages here. And so all the rest, again, are gonna be the same. And then the back cover. And that was Horses by Ava Brown. This one is Mushrooms by Ava Brown. And again, we have our color test page. And I think I'm just gonna do a quicker flip of this one so y'all could see the images. But it's just going to be a lot of mushrooms. And I don't know about y'all, but I really enjoy coloring mushrooms. And it looks like we get lots of butterflies and flowers as well in this book. A cute little bee right here. And again, we've got some portrait and some landscape. But if you are looking for pencils to use in these books with the Amazon paper, like I said earlier, I would suggest the Artix pencils. The Calor 240 pencils work fantastic. Prisma colors work fantastic on the paper in these books. and Black Widows also work well on the paper in these books too. But if you wanna color mushrooms, 
There are lots of mushrooms in this book, but you also get some flowers and some leaves and some other things. We get a little porcupine. Here's some acorns and some more fall looking leaves. More flowers and mushrooms and leaves. And then we get our duplicate pages here. And so all of the rest of the pages are going to be all the same. We have the back page that shows the images in the book. And that was Mushrooms by Ava Brown. I have a couple more Ava Brown books. This one is Nutty Gnomes. <laughs> I would assume this one's going to be more so a fun coloring book. <laughs> Again, we have our color test page. <laughs> oh goodness, already this book is a trip. <laughs> this gnome is in a ballerina outfit. <laughs> That's very different. This one is in a hula outfit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, this book is definitely a funny one. How adorable. Oh my gosh, he's trying to kiss her and she's just like, go away. <laughs> Look at the bird with the clothespin on his nose. <laughs> okay, so if you want some humor while you're coloring, this is a great book for that. And the name, Nutty Gnomes. Oh my gosh, how adorable. What is he, inside a bubble or blowing a bubble? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, he's a baby. He has a pacifier in his mouth and diapers on. <laughs> and what is up with that bird? <laughs> oh wow, this book is so funny. Look at the frog back here just trying to protect himself from the rain with this tiny little leaf. <laughs> And the gnome is sitting there, like, just really enjoying sitting out in the rain. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't. Do we seriously have drunk gnomes in this book? Oh, my goodness. He is drunk and totally knocked out. Look at this. <laughs> this has got to be one of the funniest books I think that I have flipped through yet. <laughs> we have an ape and a gnome brushing their teeth. What are they doing? Running from something? What? He has a hole in his butt, in his pants. <laughs> and then this one is a baby. Look at the hair on his legs. Oh my goodness. The stork is just flying him through the sky. <laughs> and then it looks like he is pretty mad and the rabbits are looking at him like, what is wrong with you? Look at this dog. <laughs> Is she doing the dog's makeup? Oh, how funny. Another mad gnome. Oh my gosh, the monkeys are trying to kiss him. And he's mad about it. <laughs> oh, this book is hysterical. A gnome dressed up like a frog <laughs> to make the frog mad. He's like teasing the frog and the frog is over here like, go away, I'm just trying to relax. Look at the looks on their faces. This is so funny. Oh my gosh, this gnome here, he looks like, catch me if you can. So this book is going to be full of just a bunch of very goofy images. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's just making a funny face and she is laughing at him. But yeah, this is just going to be a bunch of gnomes, nutty gnomes. <laughs> and that's basically what it is but if you want to have a good time while you're coloring and get a good laugh then this is a great book but this is the back cover it just shows some of the images you just saw in the book and that is nutty gnomes by ava brown this one is viking warriors i think this is my last book by Ava Brown, and I am going to add music to this one as I flip through. I hope that's okay, but I am just really struggling to keep talking today and providing commentary because it hurts to talk because I'm still working on getting well. Let's go ahead and start the flip through of this one.
And that was Viking Warriors Grayscale Coloring Book by Ava Brown. As you saw, as I flipped through there, there were lots of images that did have a lot of grayscale on them. So if you're looking for a grayscale coloring book, this is a great coloring book. There's lots of beautiful portraits inside of this book. The next book that I have is by Deborah Muller. She was kind enough to send me this one so that I could share it with all of you, but this is her newest release, Bloom Flower Girl Portraits. And I have been waiting for her to release another portrait coloring book because I absolutely love her portraits. And this one is going to have lots of portraits with flowers. It has a This Book Belongs To page here. Deborah Muller does also have an Etsy shop where you can purchase the PDFs of all of her coloring books. I will have that linked down in the description box below. But as you can see, all of these are portraits and then there are flowers worked into them in some way hence the name Bloom. <laughs> but it looks like we've got lots of flowers and butterflies. Oh, this one's gorgeous. If you are a beginner and you want to start working on hair or putting together color combinations for hair or even skin tones, this would be a fantastic book. And then you still have lots of butterflies and flowers. And I don't know, this book is just all of my favorite things all in one and I really wanted to be able to film this video today because I really want to start coloring in this book. <laughs> I already have my image picked out that I want to color in here but I've been waiting the longest time for her to release another book with lots of gorgeous uh, portraits in it and this one's just perfect just because it's got flowers too and those are my favorite things to color. This is an Amazon printed book. It is all one-sided pages. All of her books are one-sided pages. And then of course, if you purchase from her Etsy shop, you will have the PDF. And then you can print on any page you want. But there are some gorgeous images in this book. Those of you that have been following me for quite some time, you know that Deborah Muller is where I started. Those were some of the very first portraits I ever colored when I first started to learn how to color hair, put together colors for hair, and color skin. And so I always go back to Deborah Muller, no matter what, and I just really love her artwork. And her books and her artwork are some of my favorite. But these are just gorgeous. And then you have background space so you can practice with other mediums, pull out your pan pastels or your uh, Mungio pastels. If you can't afford more expensive pastels, I always recommend the Mungio pastels. I'll link them down in the description box below, but you get like 64 colors in that set for like maybe $10 or so, maybe even cheaper. And it's a great set of pastels and those are great to use for backgrounds. And then she has her back page here where you can see just where to find her, her Instagram, her Etsy. She has a Facebook group, Pinterest, her email address and her website. And then this is the back of the book. You just get a list of some of the other books that she has, but I love Deborah Muller's books. If you loved the artwork that you saw in this book, she has, a couple hundred books out there and if you go to Amazon and just search Deborah Muller you will come up with tons of options and then I'm sure if you found one you thought you were interested in you can find flip throughs somewhere on YouTube and I've got lots of flip throughs on my channel as well of most of her books all in videos just like this one in my massive coloring book haul and flip through series videos but this is Bloom Flower Girl Portraits by Deborah Muller this next book is Colorage Wild by Emmanuel Colon, and this one was actually Happy Mail. I had this on my wish list for the longest time, and I was so excited to receive this one in the mail. Thank you, Nicole, for sending this to me. I really, really love it. Now, this book is spiral bound. It has wonderful paper in it. It is smaller than your typical coloring book. You get 28 images, so you get 14 images and then you get doubles of each one of the images. And it is on 250 gram paper, so it is on a thicker paper. But I'm gonna pull the Deborah Muller book back in here so y'all could see the difference in the size. So if I put this down here, you could see I have about this much space left over here. And then I've got about this much up here. So this book is great for 
quicker colors and the pages are going to be perforated and most of you have probably already seen this book before or have this book but if you haven't seen the images in this book yet they are absolutely beautiful and a lot of them are side facing portraits some of them are front facing you're going to get lots of flowers in this book so you've got lots of hair to color. You've got this beautiful gray shading. The paper is a bright white. And you can see how thick this paper is. It is super, super thick. It is wonderful for colored pencils. I should say it's actually made for colored pencils. It is really textured paper. <laughs> Look at the little frog sitting up here and these gorgeous flowers. But I love the images in this book. And I would love to be able to collect all of the books that are in this series, but they have become a little bit more difficult to find. This one I actually started coloring, and then I really wasn't sure about the color of the flower, and I wasn't sure about how the skin was coming out on here. I think that I used my Holbein's, and I stopped coloring it because I didn't care for the way that I colored the skin. <laughs> but see, now that I'm looking at it, it looks okay, so. I don't know. It's not done. I really do need to come back and finish it. But look at the images in here. They are just beautiful. I love how the images have a lot of gray in them because it really helps your colored pencils to really stand out. And you're able to use it as sort of a guide as to where to lay your colors. So like in here where the gray is much darker, I would lay my darker tones. And then where it's lighter, I would lay my lighter tones. But this book would be really great if you're a beginner colorist and you've got the really great paper to work with as well as the grayscale. So it's just a win-win all the way around. And I think this page is where the images start over because this is the first one that we saw. And so we're just going to have double images all the way through the book. But this paper is so thick so I can't even just do the little spiral flip through that I did earlier in the other ones, but you get this really thick backing on the book. The books are just really, really great quality. And then here on the back of the book, you're gonna see the 14 images that are inside the book, but the images are just beautiful. And I think there may be like six of these in this series now. And I would really like to get my hands on some more of these. But that was Coleridge Wild, and this is the first book. This one was also Happy Mail. And I have showed this Holly Hobby book, I think, in my last haul. But I wanted to bring it back into this one because... I wanted to thank Angela for sending this to me. Y'all, if you had any idea what she went through to get this book to me, she knew how bad I wanted it. And she is all the way in Australia, but this is Holly Hobby. This is by Coloring Heaven. And I think that you actually still can order it from the Coloring Heaven website. It was out of stock for a while. I don't know if it's, if it's in stock or not right at the moment. Y'all, she went through so much to try to get this book to me because she knew how badly I wanted it because Holly Hobby really has a special place in my heart. I grew up with Holly Hobby. I had all of the rag dolls and always had them all lined up on my bed when I was younger. And I had the entire collection of every single one of the Holly Hobby dolls. And when I saw this book and started to see people sharing pictures of the images inside this book. I wanted this book so badly. And she had originally sent this book and it never came and two months had gone by and I guess the post office had notified her that it had never gone out. And so she went back to the post office and I guess took care of it and resent it to me. But that was after Coloring Heaven had reached out to me and said that they would provide me with a copy of it. <laughs> so now I have two copies. So I am just so thankful because now I can color in one and if I make a mistake, I have a second copy because most of you probably know that the Coloring Heaven books are a little bit longer than your typical coloring book. I'll bring out the Deborah Muller again, but just to show you, the books are a little bit longer 
up here than your typical Amazon printed book. So to print these images out on paper, if they were covering more of the page, then they may be a little bit more difficult to copy. I mean, they may not. Well, this one does go up a little bit higher. I don't know. I guess I would have to try it to see. But some of them are going to be landscape and some of them are portrait. But the images in here are just so adorable. Y'all, I just love Holly Hobby. And then this section starts the images that look a little bit more grayscale. And these are the ones that I just absolutely love. I'm excited to have an extra copy of this coloring book because really I want to keep one as sort of a collector's edition. And now I have one to do that with and then I have one that I could color in. So I am totally excited about that. But look how cute these are. And if it is still available on the Coloring Heaven website, I will have that linked down in the description box below so that y'all can find that easily. And Coloring Heaven does also offer a membership so that you can get their coloring books sent to you every single month. And I believe that they do on their website also have some that are still available that were previous releases. But I think there may be 50 images in here and it all is single sided. Now this paper I think is a little bit smoother. It has a little bit of tooth but it doesn't have a whole lot of tooth. I don't know. I think it's similar to the Amazon paper. It feels about the same. It's probably whiter than the paper in the Amazon books. Let me see here. I'll do a little quick comparison for y'all. Yes, it is definitely on a brighter white paper than the Amazon book is. And I've actually not colored yet in a Coloring Heaven book, but I plan to here very soon because I really want to color one of these images, especially now that I have the two books and I have one to keep as a collector book and then one I have to color in. So I will let you know how my pencils do in these books and which one works out best. Oh my gosh, look at these things that are available. They've got a gorgeous mug here and this little tote bag and even t-shirts. And then there is a discount code. I don't know if that is still good or not though. But this I think is a whole different website to be able to order these products. And that was Coloring Heaven Collection Holly Hobby. This book here, I just had to have it. It was on my wish list for the longest time and I just decided to buy it for myself and treat myself because I've not bought myself any coloring books in goodness, I don't know how long. So this month I did buy myself a couple coloring books and Amazon was having a sale. So the next two you see will be from a sale that Amazon was having. I think it was buy one, get one for 50% off. Look at all these beautiful colors. And here on this page, it's going to tell you the names of all of the different images that are in the book. But this is also printed on the Amazon paper. And before I forget, a lot of people have asked me, how do you know it is an Amazon printed book? When you get your book, you will see down here on the very last page, this one says made in the USA, Columbia, South Carolina, and April 5th, 2022. So they are pretty much printed on demand. So when you order your book, they are going to print it right then. That is how the Amazon printed books work. And they all come on the same paper. And I've just been really into coloring Christine Karen lately. I just actually finished a page that I absolutely loved that was by Christine Karen and I just really enjoyed coloring it so I wanted to start collecting the rest of her books and so that is what I did I went and bought the rest of the ones that I wanted <laughs> I think there's still a couple more but I had also received some other happy mail with two other Christine Karen books that were on my wish list and that was in my previous video I showed those and I think it was fairies 3 and something else, I can't remember what the other one was, but I think it was another, it might have been Fairies and Fantasy 2. And I'll link my previous haul up in the upper right hand corner so that you could find it. Oh my gosh, look at this gorgeous mermaid. Y'all, it's mermaid. Somebody needs to color this. Maybe I'll start coloring this one next. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love this one. Her images are just so beautiful. Oh, look how adorable she is. 
And with these books, I always like to take the pages and I just lay them flat in my printer and I scan them into my computer. And then I love to print these pages out on my tone tan paper. And once I get the scan in my computer, I just cut it down to get the, because sometimes it will come out with a little bit of black on the edges. And so I just cut it down to fit and make sure I have a really good copy. And then I just print it out because I would just much prefer coloring on my own paper and I love how grayscale looks on the tone tan paper. But this is Christine Karen's Fairy and Fantasy 3 Grayscale Coloring Book. Okay, so this next one is Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanes. And I ordered this one when Amazon just recently did their sale, buy one, get one 50% off. And I ordered this one because I had some images in my book that I used for uh, tutorials and such, and they were images that I actually wanted to color. So I went and purchased myself another copy of the book. And because it's starting to hurt to talk again, I am going to go ahead and flip through this one for those of you that want to see it. I know many of you have already seen this book, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip through it for those of you that have not seen this book, and I'm going to set this one to music. And that was Kirby Rosane's World Within Worlds. And I absolutely love this book. This is my absolute favorite book that has ever been released by this artist. And the paper in these books, it is a little bit smoother, but I find that my Prismacolors work the best in this book. And that's pretty much all I use in these books are my Prismacolors. And this is the other one I ordered because they were buy one, get one 50% off. And this is Mythic World. This is his newest release. And I actually had this on pre-order and I canceled it after I saw the images in the book. Then after I saw people coming out with images that they were coloring in this book, I got even more excited about it. And there was one picture in here that I really wanted to color. And that was the whole reason I purchased this book, <laughs> honestly. But some of the images in here are just not anything that I would color. Of course, everything is mythical and magical, and I do like things like that, but some of the monsters and the other images that are in this book 
are not anything that I would color. <laughs> but there are some things in this book that I would color and considering I got it at a discounted price a little while after it was released, I was more and more excited about it. Just made sense to go ahead and order it and have it in my collection. But I'm just gonna do a quicker flip through because I know a lot of you have already seen several flip throughs of this book online. And now I'm looking at it and I'm flipping through it. There are actually more images in here that I would color. This one's interesting. That looks like it would be fun to color. But if you're in my Facebook group, and you have been a member there for quite some time. You know that we do uh, Whip Wednesday and everybody just goes on the post and shares their images that they're working on. And it was Kathy, who is one of my moderators on my Facebook group, who really influenced me to go ahead and get this book because <laughs> Her image that she is coloring in this book, it is coming along so beautifully. And she has that as the picture every time she makes the post because she is the one that hosts the Whip Wednesday. And so I just got more and more excited as I've seen her progress as the weeks have gone by. Of course, that influenced me to go ahead and get a copy of the book for myself. So I'm excited to have it now. But this is the page that she is coloring. If you wanna see that, put a request in to join my Facebook group and then just look for the Whip Wednesday post. But she is doing a fabulous job on this page. It is so amazing. I think she just started on the water this week and she's got lots of oranges and browns and reds and it's just amazing what she's doing with this page between the hair up here and then the snake and she just started on the water and so now she's adding the blue and I just can't wait to see how the blue looks behind all of the other colors that she's used on the snake and on everything else. But I'm gonna go ahead and add music now as I finish flipping through here because y'all I have a really sore throat and it's just really hurting for me to keep talking <laughs> and we're almost at the end. <laughs> That was Mythic World by Kirby Rosanes. Okay y'all, so we had 12 coloring books here and that was quite a lot to get through. I hope you enjoyed this massive coloring book haul, flip through and review video. All of the coloring books that you've seen in this video will be linked down in the description box below. If you have any questions about any of these books or any questions at all or anything that I didn't cover in this video because I'm just really not feeling that well still, please leave your questions down in the comments below and I will be sure to answer Answer those. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring! Bye!